Hello, my name is Greg Walden, and I'm a proud member of the Congressional Western Caucus. I also serve as chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. First and foremost, though, I represent the people of Oregon's 2nd District. Now, the 2nd District of Oregon stretches across 20 counties in southern, central, and eastern part of the state. Vast, breathtaking landscape, larger than any state east of the Mississippi. And as a lifelong Oregonian, my ancestors arrived by wagon train in 1845, I, I know how our forests and other public lands are central to our way of life. Unfortunately, devastating wildfires that ignite across the West each summer threaten the well-being of both, along with our air quality, water quality, and the habitat. Year after year, wildfires burn hundreds of thousands of acres in Oregon. Our forests are charred. Our skies are choked with smoke. As chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, I held a hearing this week to examine the air quality impacts of wildfires that fill Oregon's air with haze each summer. We heard from witnesses about how these fires are hurting our health and our environment. Smoke inhalation has become a health hazard each summer for Oregonians. Recent studies show that wildfires contribute three times as much fine particulate matter into the air as previously thought. This can cause respiratory problems and make it very difficult to breathe. Wildfires also pour carbon into our atmosphere every year. In 2002, the Biscuit Fire in southwest Oregon burned over half a million acres. The carbon dioxide emitted during that fire amounted to almost one quarter of the carbon dioxide emitted in the entire state of Oregon that year. More than 8.2 million acres burned nationally this year on our forests. That's an area larger than any state, I'm sorry, larger than Maryland. And over 678,000 acres of land in Oregon was devastated by fire. Our environment and our health are not the only things harmed by the flames and smoke. This year's fire season took a toll on our local economies and interrupted the day-to-day -day lives of Oregonians. Annual events like Cycle Oregon and the Sisters Folk Festival, they had to be canceled. Famous Oregon Shakespeare Festival canceled nine shows at a direct loss of $400,000, not counting all indirect losses from visitors who never came. Constituents have sent me photos of their summer, once again filled with fire and smoke. Sue from Rogue River sent me a picture of what looks like fog on her pasture, but in reality, it was dense smoke from a fire that burned more than 190,000 acres in southern Oregon. Mike, returning from a hunting trip one Saturday night, sent me a photo of the furious Eagle Creek fire that burned over 50,000 acres just miles from where I live in Hood River, Oregon. Flames lit up the night sky as smoke poured into the air over the National Columbia Gorge scenic area. The bottom line is, enough is enough. Dense fuel loads from a lack of management caused by red tape and gridlock leave a tinderbox in our forests that's just waiting to ignite. By streamlining management activities, we can get back to work in the woods. We can clean up our federal forests, and we can reduce the risk of catastrophic wildfires and air-choking smoke our communities face each summer. Our colleague on the Western Caucus, Representative Bruce Westerman of Arkansas, has introduced the Resilient Federal Forests Act that will help bring proper management activities back into our forests. I'm a big supporter of this legislation. The House is about to move forward with this bill for the fifth year in a row. It's long past time for Congress to reform how federal forests are managed. If we do not act, these fires will continue to destroy our lands, pour carbon and pollutants into our atmosphere, threaten habitat and water supplies, and frankly, put people and property in harm's way. So I look forward to working with my colleagues on the Western Caucus to get this job done.